Hello, this is Genosis, and today I'm going to show you how to install the War of the Walkers mod or any other mod using the same method. I will have a link in the description where to download this. However, once you do, you have the War of the Walkers zip file here. Right click and extract all. You'll end up with the War of the Walkers folder. Go inside the subfolder and you find mods and all the containing files here that make up War of the Walkers. A somewhat recent update forces mods to be installed into your user directory. Now the easiest way to find that is to hold the Windows key and press R and enter this string into the run window and press OK. And this will immediately bring you to the mods directory within seven days to die. You can hold Ctrl and press A to select all the mods. Hold Ctrl, press C, and then back in the mods folder, hit Ctrl and V and then paste them all in. But what if you want to be able to play the vanilla seven days to die and play on your favorite servers and have a copy of a modded game to play at the same time. Well, we'll stop that and get rid of all those mods and go back to vanilla. Now, in order to have a separate copy of Seven Days to Die to run your mod, go to Steam, right click on Seven Days to Die and go to Properties, click on Local Files and then Browse. This will take you to your installed directory for Seven Days to Die. Go back one directory and you'll locate the Seven Days to Die folder. You can press Control C to copy or press the copy button and paste it to a location of your choosing. I personally made a Seven Days to Die data folder on a separate drive entirely, and you can paste a copy of Seven Days to Die in any location you wish. I made a folder called War of the Walkers in my Seven Days to Die data folder, and here you can paste your copy of Seven Days to Die. Now you'll notice there's a mods folder in here. In order to make this work, we're gonna to go to a file called serverconfig.xml. In the serverconfig.xml, look for the segment entitled File and Folder Locations. You'll see two properties here you need to enable. Delete the start of the comment here and the end of the comment here in order to enable this line. So remove the first tag and delete the end tag. This will enable this property. In user data folder, you can paste the location of your seven days to die War of the walkers path. And you can also keep your saved games in the same location, just slash saves at the end. Save that file. And now you'll be able to keep your mods all here in a separate folder, as well as all your save files here in a folder here. Now we can go ahead and run seven days to die.exe. You can also make a shortcut on your desktop and call it War of the Walkers. If you installed it correctly, you should see this new splash screen and you can now start a new game or continue one you've already started. As you can see here, I have several versions of Seven Days to Die installed, uh, supporting Apocalypse Now, Sorcery Mod, and War of the Walkers. And to be able to launch one individually, all you have to do is find your Seven Days to Die EXE, hold Alt on your keyboard, and drag it to your desktop to create a shortcut. Then you can call that whatever you'd like. And just to test it, we'll double click on the shortcut. And there we go, we have loaded a completely different mod without having to remove our vanilla installation. This has been Genosis with how to install the War of the Walkers or any other mod. If like what you saw here today, like the video. And if you'd like to see some more in the future, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.